to prep your car to get through <laughs> another Chicago winter. This video is just depressing. You love it, don't you? No. I mean, I don't mind winter, More but snow. we don't need to look at this before it happens. You know, winterproofing your car can prevent a breakdown or even an accident. Uh, joining us now with more on this, car coach Lauren Fix. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. Yes, I've got the four C's of winter, but before we get started, a quick history lesson. Back in 1939, the first stop sign had that reflective material on it, and you're going to need that. That's right over here over my shoulder. 3M came up with that, and based, they're based out of Chicago. So it's kind of a neat little story. So the white line on the right side of the road that you see, that yeah. you know, bright lights that are coming at you, if you're like, wow, that is overpowering, because we're like moths, you want to look at it, use that white line, especially when it's snowing out, it's getting icy, you're not sure where the road lines are, that you steer it on that white line, you'll stay in your lane, it's the safest way to travel. Oh, wow. Good okay, man. so tell us about your four C's of winter driving preparation. Okay, first thing is check. So you want to check the fluids in your car. There are nine fluids in your car. If you have an electric, a plug-in vehicle, and you think, oh, it's an EV, I don't have that you still have fluids in your car. You still have brake fluid. You still have all kinds of other fluids and moving parts. So don't overlook that because if it gets really, really cold, you're going to find that you're going to have some problems because that's when not changing your oil or checking your coolant for that could lead to some other things. Also, you want to uh, check your filters. This is a dirty air filter. This is a clean one. You can see this a pretty dramatic difference. Yeah. So you, you wouldn't want to breathe through the dirty one. So why would your car? So what that does is impact your fuel economy. The price of gasoline is crazy. So get keep your car running at its best and it'll save you money. So that's part of the check. And if you're not sure, you got to check engine light, find an ASC certified technician, get it fixed. Don't wait, because that will leave you on the side of the road. Uh, you know, it, it's always good to know. My, my grandpa was a mechanic, and he always said, if you take oh. care of your car, it'll take care of you. Excellent. I say the same thing. It's with old, old isms, right? Yeah. So, so you want to check, and then you want to change. What do you want to change? You want to change to a winter wiper blade. So this is one with a jacket, or you can use a beam blade, which is what they're putting on a lot of the new cars. The one thing you don't want to do is leave this winter wiper blade on year round, because what happens is I save these lovely props for you. They get all broken up, and then they no longer work. Mm -hmm. So if you just put wiper blades on your vehicle, and you're like, wow, it's squealing, it's squeaking, get some rubbing alcohol on a paper towel, rub it along the blade where it touches the glass, and you'll take off that excess road debris and they'll work perfectly fine. It's a good no. thing to know. Um, the other thing is don't forget to change the winter tires. I live in Buffalo with the same lousy weather you do. Mm. I know everyone mm -hmm. thinks we get it worse. But if you're driving something with summer tires on it, you need winter tires. If you've got all seasons, even this SUV next to me has winter tires because you want the best traction. Think of it as you would wear a snow boot during the winter so you can grab the roadway and get traction. But if you're wearing a pair of dress shoes, you're just going to skate on through an intersection. So all season tires below 40 degrees don't work that well. They'll work, but they're like a hockey puck. So you're not going to get the best traction. You also got to keep your vehicle clean, right? Very important. Devin Absolutely. is always getting on me about <laughs> all the yeah. salt yeah. that builds yes. up. Uh, why is that when important? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because all that salt is not really salt, like table salt. What it is is calcium chloride, and it will eat the undercarriage of your car. That's exhaust systems, brake lines, fuel lines, undercarriage, connection points for the brakes. Actually, I had that problem on this car just recently, where just the salt that we have gets into those little connection mm -hmm. points, and you get lights on your dash. So also, you, you want to just run into a car wash, whether it be an automatic car wash, or hand car wash at least once a week. Remember when it hits that like 30 some degree temperature, that's when that calcium chloride starts to rust. So if it's super cold out, it's not gonna rust. It's gonna just okay. dissolve what's on the roadway as it gets warmer. And don't forget to carry some things with your standard emergency kit. I always tell people hand warmers and foot warmers, oh, they're so those low cost. are amazing. They are amazing. And then of course, you wanna carry a good snow brush with an aggressive ice scraper. Yep. Very aggressive. And don't forget, yeah, and check, yeah, well, I like the good stuff. Uh, and then check your tire pressure once a month. Uh, this pressure from your tire against the number inside your driver's door will stop that light turning on your dash. And then there's also other things that I always tell people to carry. And that is, instead of carrying the striking flares, you've seen those striking flares, you get stuck sure. in the side of the road, it, first truck goes by, they're in the ditch. Instead, you can buy these LED light sources. They flash, they're magnetic. 
they're, you can get them anywhere. They're under $20, make great stocking stuffer idea. Uh, and I always tell people, if you can get two of those per car, you can put them on the car, you can put them on the roadway, and they're reusable, and they're better for the environment, because we know we're all trying to do a little something that way. Uh, also, if you're looking for holiday gifts, my book, Lauren Fitz's Guide to Loving Your Car, is available. Uh, you can get that on Amazon or at any of your favorite bookstores or on my website. But the whole idea is that if you get a perfect emergency kit where you have things, like you don't know how to change a flat tire, people, most people don't, you can buy a tire inflation product. Hmm. And that way you're not, especially if you're pregnant or you've got a disability or you just, I have no idea what I'm doing, this is a good solution. Or if you have a dead battery, which you should obviously be checking, a lot of people don't know how to jump a, a dead battery from another car. And you can get hurt if you don't do it right. Yeah. So make sure to get a jump box. You can buy those good holiday gifts as well. Right. Great All ideas. Right. Great tips. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lauren Fix. And for more information, you can check out her website, carcoachreports.com. Hi, Tim. Hello, Tim. Hey, guys. Yeah, we are seeing uh, milder weather.